Hello friends, Misha Crossing here, back with another Animal Crossing New Leaf Save Editor tutorial. If you don't know what the Save Editor is, or you want to learn how to uh, get your 3DS and your Animal Crossing game set up to use it, uh, watch my step-by-step -step guide, Hacking Animal Crossing New Leaf. It covers getting your 3DS set up, and also kind of the basics of the Save Editor. Uh, but in this episode on the Save... I guess it's not an episode. I guess it is. I don't know. Uh, on this video about the save editor, we are going to talk about the map editor, which is down at the bottom of the first tab page um, of the map. <laughs> so you got your map down here. The basics of this is that you can select any acre on here, click on it, and a whole bunch of options for what you can change that acre to come up. Um, and at the top right here, you'll see Warning, an invalid acre structure might, will might freeze the game while booting. Um, yeah, might freeze the game while booting. Um, so let's go over some of those ground rules. I'm going to go over what's on that more info page that it linked to. Uh, so some ground rules for the map editor. Everybody pay attention because the, the map editor is the most... It's the riskiest of uh, all of this save editor, basically. If you create an invalid map structure, like say you're editing your river and uh, you for some reason put some grass right in the middle of your river or tried to make it go off to where there's no waterfall or something like that, that clearly the game would not naturally allow to happen, um, that will glitch your game. That will corrupt your game. Uh, don't do that. Always have a valid map structure. Another thing, do not swap the side your beach is on. Uh, several people have done this and have said that it's just led to their save file didn't necessarily corrupt But there was just a whole mess going on on the the new side of their beach And it just the game wouldn't work properly. So don't do that uh, Similarly, don't swap what side the campground is on. I don't even know if you should change Where your campground entrance is on your map. It has the option to down here um you know, it has those acres, and then you can change. You could technically change what side it's on, but just just don't. Just don't worry with it. Just leave it where it is. Um, if I if I find out for sure whether it's safe or unsafe to move your campground, I'll put it in a pinned comment and in the description box. But for now, just leave it be. Also, do not delete your town plaza acre. You can move it to wherever you want. I'll talk about that in a second, but you have to have it. Um, you have to have it for um, the NPCs that come to visit, events that happen. There's a lot that the game does in this area, and you just you have to have it, otherwise your game will not work. You also have to have two waterfalls. You have to have one that's on a wall on the cliff here, and you have to have one that goes into the sea. Any less than that, and your game will corrupt. You also have to have at least one pond, uh, two beach slopes, and at least two rocks. The rocks thing is more about should have been in my spawning and deleting items video, but I forgot to mention it, so keep at least two rocks. There isn't a ton to explain about the map editor. It's pretty much just clicking around on the different types of acres until you have a river that you like and building placements that you like, but I'll go over kind of the brief uh, bits and bobs of the map. So like I said, you have to have your town plaza acre. You can move your town tree away from this stone pavement. Um, you can do that up here, uh, which I talked about in moving buildings and public works projects. That's one of the things that you can move. Uh, but you still just have to keep this stone plaza. You also... I'm pretty sure you need to keep this stone, but maybe you can get rid of it. You can definitely delete your retail and town hall stones if you want to. You don't have to have them necessarily. And you can also move them away from their, their buildings. So let's just go over these different acres. Um, these are just plain grass acres. I don't know what the difference is between them. Maybe the different types of grass. Although that's something that you can change in a different part of the editor, the shape of your grass. So I don't know. This is grass. <laughs> Obviously, these are little ponds on their own. Then these three. One, two, three are the three different town plaza stones. Like I said, you have to have at least one of these somewhere, and only one. Don't have more than one, that'd be weird. These two guys are the town hall pavements. These four pavements here with the ponds, these are uh, retail. Retail always has a pond near it for some reason uh, in the game, but like I said, you can move this plaza, this pavement away from retail or delete it altogether if you want. 
And then these three are the train station pavements. So these are all your river choices. Uh, this is basically just gonna take some playing with. Some people make really, really small rivers um, just down in the corner. Some people make rivers straight across their map. Some people make ones with a ton of ponds. You know, you can do whatever you want as long as you have that waterfall that starts out somewhere on the cliff here and then a waterfall that goes somewhere into the ocean. You'll notice these arrows show the water flow. Uh, if you make a river with water flows that go in different directions, um, it will look weird if you look at it uh, in your game, but it won't corrupt anything, so it's not necessarily dangerous. Yeah, other than that, it just takes some playing with trying to figure out what you want. The save editor it has all of these things lined up in pretty uh, a pretty good order with all the different curves and, and these straight ones across that line up perfectly and things like that. But your waterfall choices are a little bit further down. You can see them here. You can have waterfalls that face whatever direction you want. But like I said, just don't change the side uh, that your beach is on. Editing your beach is kind of the same deal. It just takes some playing with to get the edges to line up perfectly. And that is something that you have to have for a valid map structure. Like I said, uh, make sure just all the edges of the cliffs and, and everything line up just right so they actually flow well whenever the game is loaded. This is a cliff and you can see with this little gray line right here the cliff is on the right side of the town and then this one with the gray line over here the cliff is on the left side of the town. And same with the the campground the light acres. <laughs> and then these guys are your cliff waterfalls like I said don't change what side they're on and just don't worry about anything else. Don't go rearranging your railroad or any, or the ocean, it does it. it you don't need to worry about it. It could do more harm than good. You can edit the shape of your island. That's completely fine. Don't try to use these guys in your actual town. That will definitely corrupt your save file. Just do it on the uh, island editor page here. It shows all, all the same acres on the island page. So likewise, don't put acres from your regular town on your island. These last three down here, I'm pretty sure are other town hall pavements that you're welcome to use. And I do not know what these question marks are, so don't ask me. <laughs> and these buttons down here, you can import and export map files. Uh, I don't know of a place where people have exported cool maps to that you can download and input into your game. Uh, I'll put that in the description box or in a pinned comment if someone ends up uh, telling me where one is. But if you want to share maps with your friends or whatever, you know, you can import and export and send them however you want. And these buttons down here, obviously you can revive all your grass in town to have no dirt patches. This will cover your beach ramps with grass as well. And desert grass uh, just gets rid of all your grass. And these only take effect for one day. So whenever the next day is loaded, uh, your grass will go back to normal. So this is just something you'll have to keep changing if you want to have it every day. Alrighty guys, that is all I have to tell you about the map editor. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments, me or someone else who knows a thing or two about hacking will we'll get back to you, but just keep in mind those warnings that I gave you of what to do and what not to do and what to make sure to keep in your town. Uh, as always, make a backup save file on your computer. If you load up your game and something is glitched or the game just simply won't load, it's corrupt, uh, you can just go back into the save editor or put your backup save file on your SD card go into the save manager on, on homebrew and re-inject your backup save file and all will be well again, but just always have that backup. Okay, you all have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another. Don't forget to be awesome. Bye.